What up players, it's Warboss Tay up in this mug. We're painting through these scouts here and I'm gonna show you today how to do all of the armor. We're only focusing on the armor today so we're gonna be using Mechanica Standard Gray and I'm gonna be showing you how I paint everything step by step, really focused on the different elements so that you don't have to watch an entire video if you're looking for one specific thing. If you're painting scouts, this method applies to uh, every scout from every chapter the same kind of armor uh, tips and techniques work for all of them. I'm actually starting with Mechanica Standard Gray on the boots. The boots are not as hard as the armor pieces. They're uh, pliable. They've got some uh, bends and some folds in them. So this is kind of like practice. You want a nice fine tip on your brush and you're just lining all of the areas on the boots. And now we're moving on to the knee pads. This is the most important takeaway that I can give you about any kind of Space Marine armor as we're moving on to the belt here. You need a brush with a good tip. And I found a great combo set of brushes on Amazon. I'm gonna put a link below in the description. It's uh, very, very cheap and affordable for an amazing amount of brushes at uh, different lengths and different thicknesses so that you can really get into these insane details and uh, I've been working with this one set that I ordered 10 bucks I spent on Amazon and I've had this one since I moved into my new place so like a couple years now terrific set of brushes check it out uh, I'm saying that it's important because you if you're using a brush that's too big your paint is gonna go on too thick you're gonna have to do extra cleanup it's not the end of the world but if you have a fine tip brush, it makes it so much easier. You have better control, uh, better feel for where these uh, highlights are going to go. You're not going to be backtracking so much. So what I'm doing is I'm taking my Mechanica Standard Gray and I'm just outlining the hard edges. I'm looking for all of the hard edges. Uh, here I'm just brushing very light dry brush on the vents on the backpack. You might notice, but Scout backpacks are a little bit different from full-on Primera Space Marine backpacks or Firstborn Space Marine backpacks. They're uh, essentially a part of the torso. They're not an extra added piece that goes on top of it. So you look for those corners, those edges, and you're just slowly dragging your brush along the edges of everything. Now, the most prominent outline you're going to see probably is going to be the shoulder pads. A lot of these scout marines are holding double-handed weapons slung across the chest so you might not see their uh, chest or torso armor but all space marines are going to be seeing these big chunky shoulder pads so you want to make sure that you paint within those uh, lines, paint those lines in as thin as possible. So use a wet palette, really thin down your paint so you're not putting it on too thick. It's not going to create obvious paint strokes and uh, it's going to look very natural and uh, like just like light is hitting your armor, which is what we want. All right. Now, if I were batch painting my Space Marines, this is when I would be moving on to the next one. But since I'm only going to be working on one and it's not too much of a process, I'm going to jump right into the next paint, which is Administratum Gray. You might have noticed for this paint job, I'm really trying to stick with two highlight colors. And uh, I did that with the fatigues or the, yeah, the combat fatigues underneath the armor there. And now what I'm just doing is I'm very lightly tracing the highest corners and edges with this administratum gray. I'm painting inside the line of the Mechanica standard gray and uh, it creates a beautiful effect of having the light draw to a point and then fade back out into the darker gray. Really important because the light is gonna be catching on the shoulder pads. So we wanna draw those to a very fine point. And this uh, model we're working on is just a Space Marine Scout, but you can feel free to use this armor painting technique I'm teaching you to paint any kind of Chaos Space Marine or regular Space Marine, anything with a majority of armor, colored armor, like the Space Marine chapters have, they're all colored, different uh, hues of the rainbow. 
and uh, this same technique of edge highlighting all of the armor plates is going to work. So now your armor looks pretty chunky, right? The highlights look pretty chunky, maybe a little messy and sloppy. Maybe you didn't have the finest tip on your brush. So all you have to do is get some really cheap acrylic paint. Go to your hobby store or Walmart, anywhere with a little arts and crafts department and get a big old tube of black acrylic paint for like two bucks. And it's gonna last you forever. This tube of paint that I'm using I just squeeze a little bit out every single time I'm gonna work and uh, by the time I, I water it down and spread it out on my wet palette, I, it lasts me the entire session for sure. So it's a huge value. You don't have to worry about the color being off because black is black is black. It's always the same, baby. You don't have to go and spend an arm and a leg to get a pot of Abaddon black. You can just save the money, buy yourself a lifetime's worth of black acrylic paint from Walmart for like two bucks. Now, what I'm doing, the technique of using this paint, if you're doing um, scouts, but if you're using any, any Space Marine, you're just taking the base armor color, like Ultramarines would be blue, Blood Angels red, so on and so forth, and you're painting the majority area, like the flat or the curved surface of the, um, of the shoulder pad, and you're dragging that black color towards the highlight and what you're doing is you're tightening that line so it looks like you really attack these highlights with a very fine tip paintbrush nobody's gonna know that you painted these lines on really thick and that you went and cleaned it up with the black paint it's a little trick it's like an optical illusion where it's gonna really look like you are a master painter at really getting these edge highlights down when all you're really doing is you're um, extending the paint of the main armor color, pushing it towards the edges where all the highlights have built up and just making them so tight and clean that it, it just is gonna be so eye-popping from across the table. Remember, you can always go back if you get some of that black paint on your highlight color, that Ministratum Gray, and it messes up a certain area. Don't move forward. Like you can go back and repaint that highlight. You can afford to do it with this step. Usually I say don't go back, just keep moving forward. But uh, in this case, I'm limiting the amount of washes that I use and I'm just building up the highlights. So you can go back and fix every, every mistake you make if you want and your model will still be good gotten uh, painted in a good amount of time. And you can see this brush that I'm currently using, it's uh, not very good for painting. I think it frayed a little too much in the journey from Sacramento to the Bay Area. So I'm gonna have to retire this brush into, uh, I'm gonna have to send it to the basing department <laughs> where it's gonna just move glue around the bases. I don't think I can use it for painting anymore. And as always, if you enjoy these miniatures, if you're looking at them and thinking, wow, I can really add some scouts to my Space Marines, I'm gonna put a link below in the description where you can scoop up one of these from uh, Amazon and it's gonna get there, you know, super fast and it's a good value for the money. Now here you can see how this application works for the back of the boot here. I got a lot of that highlight color straight across the back strap, but once you paint that black line in the middle and push that line out so that the highlights really get relegated to the very edge of the back of the boot, then it's just gonna look so smooth. Now we are moving on and I believe we're painting Administratum Gray on the straps of the uh, arm bracers. Oh, no, nope, I'm sorry, I was wrong. We're painting Administratum Gray on the crest. Now, Raven Guard have white crests, and um, because the armor is black, the white is a huge contrast. So I put it on with a pretty heavy brush, so now I'm going in with one of my detail brushes that I got from that set on Amazon. And I'm just pushing that Administratum Gray across the outline of the winged skull here. You wanna make sure you get every single feather and the structure of the wing. You don't have to worry too much about getting 
really fine coverage uh, nicely on everything. We're going to go in and attack it in a second with the shade. Now we've got some lead belcher. Okay, so depending on which chapter your scouts are from, this part where I'm going to paint, be painting lead belcher, you could be just painting it black. Like if you were painting an ultramarine scout, most of this armor would be blue, but then you would be painting this part black that I'm currently painting lead belcher. It's these two little uh, accordion straps that go down and around the torso of the armor. And you can also see it up in the front. You've got these tubes here leading from the back to the uh, breathing apparatus. And then you've also got some of those accordion straps down uh, under the armpit of the armor. Okay, taking one final look. Looks pretty good. So we've already painted the fatigues, we've painted the armor. Next we're gonna be working on the straps and then I'm gonna hit the weapons, then the sleeping bag, and then the skin and hair. We'll be doing that last. So I hope you stay tuned for all those videos. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, leave me a comment, let me know uh, what you thought of it. And uh, I'd love to hear from you. And thank you so much for helping to push my videos up that algorithm. Now we're taking Administratum Gray, and we are just highlighting the bracers here and a little bit of the fingers on the gauntlet. I think it looks pretty nice. Uh, I think I found these straps here are going to be painted as well. So I'm just kind of blocking in the colors here. I've been really studying the box art for all of the miniatures that I paint. And I want to replicate the box art as much as possible. And I think I was looking at the box art for this one, the Scout Squad Kill Team. And I found a very light white color for these straps on the bracers. So that's what we're using. All right, Pro Acryl Bold Titanium White. This is my favorite white paint. It is very bright and it's easy to use. It doesn't separate and split up like skull white. Oh man, that... um white scar paint that was like a waste of money i don't know why i ever bought a pot of white scar every time i try to put some on my brush it immediately separates uh, but this bold titanium white from pro acryl is phenomenal it's so shockingly white that uh everything i paint on it i have i end up shading back down using a wash or something just because it's so white So when highlighting using white, the purest white, like bold acrylic, bold titanium white from Pro Acro, you have to see where the light is going to hit the model the most. And in this case, the chest crest on the armor, I'm going to try to be painting closer to the edges of the feathers so that there's a little bit more of a grayish undertone closer to where the wings meet the uh, feathers. We do that on both sides. And it's already looking much better. So my greatest resources right now for the miniatures that I paint are the box cover, which uh, a lot of people don't know, but when you flip the boxes over of the miniatures that we buy, you can see the painted versions and there's usually like a lot of detail. They zoom in and they catch a lot of the detail. So that's your perfect reference card right there. What I would do is just take some scissors and cut out the back of the box where you see all of the close-ups on the models. Just keep that nearby as a reference. Also, what you could do is have um, just Google search joy toy and then whatever you're painting. Chances are there's a joy toy model of it and they really are accurate and make you feel like you're painting um, to a plan, to a blueprint. All right, this white looked a little garish to me, so I'm going in with Basilicum Gray, which is a contrast paint. I just put it on and I'm trying to spread it out. And I realize once it dries that it's a little too dark. I might try to find like Apothecary White or something that's not as dark, but it still fits with the uh, Raven Guard 
scout squad that I'm going with. So I'm, I'm gonna leave it. I'm just gonna tighten it back up with some more bold titanium white in the next section. And we're nearing the end. So what I wanna do is really suggest you guys go over to the Discord. If you're not there already, become a member and post whatever you're painting, encourage each other, and let's keep the community going strong over on the Discord. All right, at this point, I'm going to go back and attack the crest with a little bit of white paint, some um, Administratum Gray first to bring the color back up. And uh, one good thing about the Basilicum Gray contrast paint is that it shows the uh, depth, the dark darkness of the Basilicum Gray is going to show the depth when you start adding in the white paint on top. Remember, we're sticking to the edges, the tips of the feathers, the skull, and the wing frame. And that's pretty much it. There you have it for the armor of the Space Marine Scouts. What I'm gonna be doing next is showing off the other elements of this model, get it really nicely painted up. Before I do that, I'm gonna assembly line the rest of my scout squad so that their armor looks like this. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next one.